Hey guys, welcome back. Last time you saw me cut up this aluminum plate for the Z-axis spindle mount, and today I'll be using what's left to create the final mechanical bits before I fit the motors. Believe it or not, I actually do own a bandsaw. The problem is that this one is old, weak, missing a tire, and made for wood. But it does do a great job on aluminum though, as so long as you take it easy. The first piece to make is a new supporting bracket for the x-axis ball screw and motor. I had originally intended for the screws to be belt driven, but have decided to do direct drive instead. No problem though, I just need to make a beefier mount. Then I made the supporting brackets for the motor.
Next up are the mounts to hold the 24,000 RPM spindle that I got off eBay. I'll need three of these in total. It took a little bit of wiggling around, but eventually the spindle fit beautifully. Then finally the Z-axis motor mounting bracket. This one's made of steel because unlike the other one I just made, this one won't be moving. So it can be heavy and I have much more steel than aluminum. I was down to my last worn out end mill and as you can see it's having a pretty tough time but I needed to get this last part done so I could continue on with the build. A few days later and with a sharper discarded end mill I'm able to start work on the end stops for the axes.
Finally, I had one more aluminum part to machine. There is a big hole in the base plate where the X minus end stop needs to go, so I'm making a bracket to span that hole and support the stop. With all the machining done, I can drill, tap, and mount all of the end stops. A little sanding of the spindle mounts to make sure they're all fully seated on the plate and I can wrap up the mechanical build for now. Now that everything is in place I can start work on the electrical bits including the axis motors, limit switches, and control circuitry, but that'll have to wait for another video. In the meantime you can check out the other build videos on my channel, maybe leave a like or a comment below or even check out the Patreon page if you want to toss in a few bucks to help keep these videos coming. Thanks for watching.